The Philippines is famous for people power, the jeepney and Jollibee, the burger chain that's known as the McDonald's of Southeast Asia. Why? Because it outsells McDonald's here in its hometown. But Jollibee is taking its battle to the U.S., right in the land of the Big Mac and the Whopper. 100% all beef patties, golden crisp french fries, ice cold soda, fast food American style, or is it? Yes, this is a slab of pineapple over the patty, and no, that is not apple filling. It is a mix of peaches and mangoes. Welcome to one fast food chain that's beating McDonald's on its home turf. This is Jollibee, based in the Philippines. Our food is delicious and appetizing, not bland. And aside from the regular fast food items, we also offer great tasting and unique products that our competitors don't have. I need a 12 piece of dark place to go. Now, Jollibee is trying to eat into the lucrative American market, and it wants to give the Big Mac and the Whopper stiff competition. What's the strategy? First, by appealing to their base a loyal market of two million Filipino immigrants in the U.S. I am from the Philippines and I miss Jollibee. Back home in the Philippines, Jollibee is big, gobbling up a dominant share of the market, more than McDonald's, Burger King, KFC and Wendy's combined. And that's helped make it one of the most admired companies in the world. This is one of six Jollibee restaurants in the U.S. Four of these outlets opened in a record four months. This year, they plan to open more stores in Los Angeles. Jollibee's next step is to transcend its Filipino base. Analysts say, however, the plan may be more than a mouthful. They may have a captive Filipino market, but I'm not sure if they can broaden the customer base beyond Filipinos. It's going to be a big challenge for them. But Jollibee's founders, led by CEO Tony Tan, together with his brothers William and Ernesto, love a challenge. Every day, the brothers work at improving Jollibee's product line for the American market. While Filipino-Americans still make up most of our customers, we are seeing a lot of other people trying our food, Caucasians, Afro-Americans, Hispanics, and Asians. Their secret? A menu that combines the sweet and spicy Filipino taste and fast Western service. African-Americans make up 25% of the non-Filipinos. They enjoy the food, yeah, because usually when I take them out, they, they don't eat much, but they enjoy the spaghetti and they eat it. Jollibee's tastes like my mom's, and uh, it's really good chicken. So chicken was on the menu, and my wife and I came by Friday night, and I told her uh, I won't have to drive all, all the way over to Kentucky. This is a lot closer. While Hispanics make up 15%. Spaghetti is muy bueno, delicioso. 10% are whites. Every time I would drive by, there was this huge line at Jollibee, and so I thought, I have got to try this. It was delicious. Uh, our daughter loves to eat rice, and there's no, we can never find a place that has rice on any of the fast food chain items, and so she always loves to come here, and so uh, we follow her to Jollibee. It's pretty good. I like the pineapple. It's interesting. <laughs> Don't get that anywhere else. Better than McDonald's. It really all comes down to good, high-quality food, good service, and good value that appeals to anyone. Great. Thank you. The fast food market in the U.S. is one of the most competitive. But Tony Tan and his brothers have battled international burger chains before. Back in the early 80s, they almost abandoned the ice cream parlor where they first served Jollibee burgers to buy into a McDonald's franchise. Instead, they decided to put up their own restaurant where they could serve burgers a little tastier and spaghetti sweeter, the kind Filipinos love. Today, that ice cream parlor has evolved into an Asian fast food empire, posting annual profits of $20 million. That's right, $20 million. When McDonald's came to the Philippines, a lot of people thought that our business would suffer. But we were confident that because of our superior taste, fast and efficient service, we could compete with them. And true enough, Jollibee became the dominant fast food leader in the country since then. Another recipe for success, pioneering in unique combo meals and aggressive marketing. Bundling Jollibee items into value packages has allowed the company to boost sales even during the hard times of the Asian economic crisis. We were able to serve all consumer segments who wanted good taste, good quality and value for money. 
The value meal has indeed allowed us to connect to consumers during this time. And because of its success, it has become the benchmark in the industry. But the competition could not copy Jollibee's unique delicious taste and its appeal to national pride. This spaghetti is my country's spaghetti. And really, really tastes good for me. And Tony Tan is grateful to Jollibee's loyal base of 2 million Filipinos in the U.S., a base that's helping Jollibee satisfy the hunger of millions of new customers in America. Lorraine Hahn, World Biz Watch, California.